गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स द इंफॉर्मेशन ऑफ द लेक्चर डेट सिक्सटीन जून क्लास एट सब्जेक्ट इंग्लिश एट वी आर स्टडिंग एसेंशियल्स ऑफ इंग्लिश ग्रामर एंड दिस इज लेक्चर नंबर फोर चिल्ड्रेन सॉरी चैप्टर थर्ड वी आर रीडिंग वर्ब्स एक्सप्रेसिंग द पास्ट लेट्स सी वी आर एट प्रेजेंट कॉन्टिन्यूस और प्रेजेंट परफेक्ट कॉन्टिन्यूस वी बोथ है we have done both but now we'll practice comparing is there i am working right don't disturb me i am working i have been working i'm trying i am tired i have been working for quite some time now see in the first simple uh, continuous present continuous emphasis on the fact that i am working right it is putting more emphasis on the fact emphasis on the activity but in the second emphasis on the fact that i have been working for quite some time emphasis on the duration right so let's see next you can't see me you can't see him now he is sleeping right emphasis on the activity or activity is in progress at the time of speaking activity is in progress that's why he is sleeping you can't see him and the next sentence he has not done anything he has been sleeping right he hasn't done anything he has been sleeping emphasis on the duration for which the activity has been in progress so what we need to understand in one we are putting more emphasis on the statement or like on the fact in the second one we are putting more emphasis on the time let's see next ah fill in the blanks with the correct tense present continuous or present perfect continuous of the verbs given in the brackets so children we have the brackets in the sentence end now what we need to do we need to see whether we are putting emphasis on the time or we are putting emphasis on the action or the activity she dances classes to improve her dancing so obviously dancing is uh, like putting emphasis on this so it will be she is attending classes attending classes to improve her dancing no emphasis on time let's go to second one she dances kathak ever since she was a child she is now a renowned kathak children learn now see children ever since we are putting emphasis on the time so when we are putting emphasis on the time we are going to use present perfect continuous so so, so she is there she has been learning right learn is the verb so they'll be converted into ing form she has been learning kathak ever since she was a child right everyone rest of the sentences you'll do either you need to see whether present continuous or present perfect continuous let's go to next past perfect con uh, continuous form we have uh, just simple form of helping verb had only one helping verb is there had and again been <coughs> plus play ing form will remain as it is had been playing had been dancing had been waiting right let's go to next past perfect continuous uses this tense is used to express an action which began before a definite moment in the past right it began in the definite moment had continued up to that moment and was still in progress at that moment or had recently finished it means when you are speaking it had finished already right but we need to show the time everything let's see he had been sleeping for 2 hours when i reached his house i was sleeping you see he was sleeping i reached his house right first point is just this he was sleeping he had been sleeping for 2 hours means he started sleeping before 2 hours but when i reached till then he was sleeping right so the action was in continuity <coughs> that we need to understand two hours <coughs> were given duration of time the worried parents had been consulting specialists for at least two months worried parents had been consulting specialists for two hours means time is given again now see rewrite the following sentence which is in past perfect continuous here using the time expression given in the bracket so children time expression is given you just need to put had been and the verb will be in again had been you need to put instead of was were 
and time expression you need to put there right everyone bad weather had been disturbing many important flights for over a week two sentence i'll do rest you'll do it yourselves bad weather was disrupting many important files many important files many important flights for over a week this will be the correct sentence so was will be converted changed into had been right trumps trumpets were blaring loud jeering music so were had been trumpets had been blaring loud jeering music for two hours right like this you will do rest will do in the next you will do it yourselves and you will get the answer children now uh, we are doing a used to uh, form positive statement firstly let's see the definition of used to used to suggest that something was true for some period in the past but stopped being true later right see the example mr roy used to smoke in bracket it is given he doesn't smoke now that means the one is talking about the habit right see the examples of uh, positive statement he used to live here positive statement negative statement he used not to live here he never used to live here this is also again negative statement then question did he used to live here however this form is uh, not preferred now it is more common to make a statement followed by a question tag he used to live here didn't he when it comes to just make question tag in question tag we write there didn't he right the question tag will be of this so used to refers the activities we uh, used to do in the past but now something else now you see children exercise 15 this is what tanu said about herself 5 years ago right tanu said 5 years ago these all sentences i am giving you time to note down note down the sentences in your notebook if you don't have book but if you have a book then you need not note down the sentences right exercise 15 sentences i hope you just need to pause this uh, video and then note down the sentences we will not come back but i will frame the sentences because exercise 15 has two parts a and b we will see in the next slide with the help of these two slides we need to make a combined sentence right everyone so let's go to next slide we will not come back again i am telling you just note down the sentences okay now it is b and this what tanu says about herself now 5 year ago and now so let's go to the down take a sentence from a and a suitable sentence from b right a sentence from a and a suitable sentence from b and write sentences like this so we need to write sentences like uh, this by using used to i used to work as a typist but now i am a nursery teacher this is an example children so i am going to make two sentences for you you must have written in the first sentence we had i go to cinema a lot right so we, what will we write we will write i used to go to the cinema a lot right this was the sentence in a i used to go to the cinema a lot but now i hardly i hardly see a movie you see the sixth sentence in this b part i hardly see a movie like this you need to frame the sentences children right second sentence i'm going to do for you second sentence was i attend a lot of parties it was in the a and in b it is i hardly go to a party so let's make a simple sentence i used to attend a lot of parties but now i hardly go to a party like this children you need to make sentences of this 15th exercise right 
then note down in your notebook rest as you get the answer key then you can tally the uh, your answers with the answer key and correct if there are any mistakes so thank you very much for uh, this children